on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Ah, seems like we have two of our students want to join one UA. Uh, Mr. Midoriya and Bakugo. Is everyone's looking? Bakugo, he knows how hard Izuku's life has been, so there is no bullying there. Everyone knows what his quirk is. It's just like, okay, yeah, that's that's something. Hmm, interesting. Only thing is, it's pretty much like. Uh, can't, how easy would it be for him to really be a hero with it? I mean, making portals and all, that's helpful and whatnot, but, mm, I can see it more as if someone who deals with evacuations, them just muttering to themselves, as like, oh, I can also do this. Him summoning two portals, one for his ear, another one for his mouth is, I can communicate like this if I need to. Oh! Not to mention, if I cancel out a portal, it disrupts the space there. As he just gets a piece of paper, puts half of it through a portal, and dissipates it. A piece of the paper that was still in the portal is gone. Yeah, so it's like a, a guillotine. Yes. Wow. Anything else we need to know? I guess I'm in two portals at once. I can have a portal engulf you, put using you to a realm of darkness. What? Oh, yes. Wait, how do you know you can do that? Them remembering the news story about his father being not the best person. He's like, never mind. He has a smile, but it's a, hmm, right. Next, when it comes to the whole social incident, Izuku he does notice it, especially by the smell. But considering where it came out of, is you need to chill out. Him opening a portal and it is freezing cold. So cold that the sludge villain literally freezes in place. You think you're just looking. To be completely honest, I did not know if that was going to work or not. But I can at least say I'm happy it did. On my showing up, seeing the sludge being frozen is like, how? Oh, um, I just used my quirk. Huh. Well, normally you're not supposed to do that, but considering the way you handle the situation, nice and calm, I could say yes, you, you were in the right, most definitely. Thank you. He's a good walking away. All my recognizing him from the story. Are you alright? I'm fine. Just nothing. Thing uh, you need to worry yourself about. Him coming home. Inko, she's still shooken up after the thing with Azashi, then learning that Nagant killed him. Where she's actually conflicted. On one hand, she didn't love Hazashi as much as she did when they first met and got married. So she, she's on the fence whether she should thank her or hate her. But considering she's dead, hmm, she can do neither really, besides hate and hope that she's in a better place. Possibly. But when she looks at Izuku, she sees that he's 
hmm, more or less indifferent. On one hand, yes, he wants to be a hero and everything, but he doesn't have the same youthful radiance, the same, you could say, drive as you would see in canon. Though he still wants to be a hero, it's not as apparent. He's like, I can take it or leave it type of attitude. Iko senses this, and she feels sorry for Izuku, which just makes him more upset until he just goes into his room and writes in notebooks, trying to find out more ways to use his quirk. Communication, of course teleportation, evacuation, you know, clearing out rubble, even <laughs> recycling, taking out the trash. Man, if anything, he did get actually a job delivering packages as well as food. You, you, you know, we have things like that. Especially considering how rare a portal, at least tell a portation quirk is. But, uh, you think it was more or less. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, I gotta go train some more. Mom, I'll be back. Oh, alright. Hey, Izuku, he goes to this field. In which there are targets, there are walls, there's... Hell, there's even a bunch of obstacles to get in his way. Him using what focus he can, muster, uh, despite the circumstances, summons a whole mess of portals. They just scares him, shooting them from every which direction. And this is when he takes out a gun and starts shooting in each and every one of them, aiming right where the targets should be. And this is when he just... No, no, I got. Now that I got that down, I should learn more about evading. As this is when he goes to another place, a completely enclosed off area where there's nothing but walls. And he surrounds the whole room from head to toe with portals. Except for the floor, that is. Then he takes out another gun. This time, this is a AK-47 rifle. And he's... Uh... Alright, let's do this. Him just shooting blindly at the wall, ceiling, and then... Instead of dodging the incoming bullets aimed straight towards him, he opens more portals and sends them off every which direction, trying to make sure that they don't hit him and they don't even uh, graze him again. Last thing he needs is Inko wondering what happened. Is where it is she is. As he starts remembering his childhood, how this all started because of his father and his quirk to a point where he actually gets grazed on the cheek and he just winces in pain pissed off at everything his father the hero association his quirk he just hates the fact that why how? Why, why would they even want... Okay, his dad. Yeah, he wasn't the best. And, yeah, Izuku had a hand in his endeavors. But to order the murder of a child? And then there's the gun. She got set up. 
and uh, hmm? oh, man, it's that late already. And I'm heading home. Inko, she's like. So, how was her saying the cut? Is like, what did you do? It's nothing. That is not nothing. You. Were you shot? No. Don't lie to me. Her just getting alcohol and spraying it. I get you want to train. I, I know you want to. I understand. Do you? I don't know nothing if you don't tell me. Ask no questions. As Inko finishes telling no lies. So why aren't you asking? Because I know it would probably hurt you to answer. It would hurt me too. I'm sorry, Mom. It's not your fault. Is that she changed? I just wish I could have spared you from it. It could have been easier. To, none of this could have ended up happening. I still can't believe they didn't find the missing items that they accused him of stealing. Yeah. That is weird. As you know, he goes to bed. As far as 10 months of training, it's him pretty much doing the same old routine, just with different ammunition. When it comes to his uh, teleportation abilities, as long as the place actually stays the same, or at least remotely similar to where he was before, or he's already been there, he can go off a of picture, or if anything else, memory. The places he, he's actually been training at, or places where he's actually been. The place he was able to use to freeze the sludge villain, let's just say they've been taking some more trips around the world. Uh, Izuku's life has been difficult for him. But, at the very least, he's not having to worry about money. For the whole accusations of, over their husband making such a big deal out of it, destroying their home and all. Yeah, they had to be compensated for that. When it comes to Nagant, yeah, since she's dead, she faces no repercussions. Izuku seems the most hurt by it. As far as Inko knows, it's mainly because of grief. Not only did he lose his father, but he also lost someone who was very close to him in Nagant. The way she would just show up, spend time with him. They were thick as thieves. But for her to be the one to kill her, his father, that must have hurt. Like he's been betrayed by those who were close to him. And he was. When it comes to Azashi. However. Izuku. He has learned something. Very interesting about his quirk. As soon as he actually got it, One thing that always stood out. Was like, why is it like that? Why is. Why are the colors of my portals. Green and black. 
I mean, yes, it can do something with my hair, but... Hmm. It doesn't really make sense to why. So every so often, he makes a portal, but he doesn't make an exit portal either. So, the first time he did this, it was complete and total darkness. Nothing but a cold, blank canvas. Him getting scared. This is happening when he was still a kid when he first tried this. And when he realized, is this where I put the bottle? He just made a mistake of telling his father. So every t time they go for a little father-son bonding trip, just so they don't get caught with the loot, so they have no evidence to tie them to it. That's where everything's been going. As right now, there is a mountain of cash, jewels, gold, you name it. As well as interesting artworks. <laughs> One thing is, if I turn this stuff in, then my dad and I would have been found guilty. If I didn't, that's still stealing. So yeah, that's pretty much Izuku's uh, whole mindset by this time. The gun helped to uh, ease that. Well, when she was there. But now, by the end of the 10 months, he decides to go diving into his little pocket dimension. <sighs> Might as well. As yes. As soon as he does, it's pretty much. Hey, Zuku. Hey, my God. How you been? Well, after getting blown up, oh, come on. All you got was a few burns. Yeah, but still, it hurt like hell. Yeah, but seriously, you really saved my ass. Well, you saved me. What? Yeah, back then. If it weren't for you openly say, telling me your plan, knowing my dad was there, chances are I probably wouldn't have saved him. Or, who knows, I probably would have turned the bullet on to you. Hmm. Really? Are you saying, as she tackles him to the ground with a smile on her face, you would have killed me that day? Maybe just a graze? Oh yeah, like that one you got on your cheek, huh? Her giving him a kiss on the cheek and just smiling at him. Zuku's... I, I don't have time for this. Hmm. Well, that's just a buzz kill. Hey, come on. It's not like you're going to be bored around here. True. I mean, all the stuff you bought and the fact that you <sighs> control this whole area. All it takes is uh, some seeds and whatnot. You, this is could be a whole world. Well, it wasn't always like that, you know. 
Really? Yeah, for some reason, when I first discovered this, it was no bigger than, hmm, I guess the house that we are living in now. Really? Yeah, I was still very young, and though, yes, I was changing my quirk, yeah, I never really thought about it. How I could affect this place. Well, you know now. That's what matters. Yeah. That's what matters. Either way, yeah, that's... Uh, how, how are you doing? Here. I mean, you're... Ten, you're you've been declared dead. And everything, so... I do enjoy your visits, so I'm not really that bored. Plus, the stuff you, you get to, for me to be comfortable. Uh, <clears throat> right. Just remember, we can't really... Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to take your V-card yet. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. Huh? No, no. I was talking about, um, I, um, uh, outing the Hero Association and clearing your name and you, I'm just kidding. Huh? Oh, that's just adorable, your reaction. <laughs> In all seriousness, no, I wasn't. I mean, I do like you. I'm not gonna lie. But you're still a little bit too immature. I'm almost 30 right now. You're what? I'm uh, 15. Exactly. So, three more years, then maybe. <laughs> okay. You see, you see, okay, bye. Come back to see me again. Uh, I might have no choice considering this is my my realm here. Is yes again. She's is so fun teasing him. He's still so young and innocent. That, that's just adorable. It is now it is the time for the entrance exam. Suku, he's not really nervous per se. He's like, oh, damn, I got, got my whole mind messed up. To a point where, yeah, he doesn't really hear President Mike's little. Uh, uh, there are no countdowns in a real battle. Him falling behind, but being able to easily catch up via his portals to the point where he racks up them points. He can teleport to the robots. He can rip out their circuits through his portals. You know, push the activation button. As long as he strategically pushes his, his portals in places where, yeah... This would be the best place and best way to use it. Oh yeah, that's there's no contest, definitely. So yes, he does get first place here. When it comes to Oraga, that doesn't happen. Cause yeah, he already deactivated the zero pointer as soon as he saw and noticed it. This is oh come on! I want to scare them a little bit. As if they did nothing wrong. They, they are not, I know, but it's all humans. I can't help this. This is how I was brought up. If anything, be happy I don't see you all, say you all look the same. Uh, mm, right. Damn sadist rodent. You, you trying to insult me? I take that as a compliment. Besides, if I become came a sadist, it's because of 
humans who uh, like needles and scalpels and and we get it we understand mm. but still come on is it the kids yeah I'm sorry but so that's him is it yep Sukumadaya you ever think about giving your court to him I have, but it seems like he's going through something else. I don't even think he would want my quirk if I gave it to him. Hmm. Yes, perhaps you're right. As now Izuku waits for his test results, he sees that he passed and just continues to a train but before he actually does arrive in your way he does notice some interesting individuals harassing this girl him on one hand he knows like oh, come on she has to just cry for help or whatnot it's like hmm you know what eh I've been behaving for this long, so why not I actually try to have some fun? As he just reaches into the portal and grabs uh, his uh, alternate hero costume. As soon as the girl starts screaming and yelling for help, this is when Izuku comes in and let's just say they lost their heads. Her screaming, looking around, and seeing Izuku saying, Please don't kill me. I won't. Him walking away. Is, yes, he's looking all brutish, stoic, as well as calm, collect. That was him. That was the vigilante. The uh, shadow walker. As yes, Izuku, under Nagan's uh, guidance, you could say, had been working as a vigilante. Though she would like to be there to, to watch over him and to help him, she's supposed to be dead so at the very least she can give him pointers after the fact that he finishes the job yeah he adopted the name shadow walker considering the way his portals are and the way he dons his all black and green hero costume yeah it Whatever people do shoot at him, they just go through him and somehow arrive back it through their heads. And no one can really hurt him, it looks like. Because of his fighting style, he does have one. He just doesn't need to use it. It's only just in case he comes across someone like, Oh, crap, not again. <sighs> Hello, Eraserhead. Shadow Walker. You know the drill. Yeah. You try to arrest me, I get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole song and dance we have to do. Just give up already. You know you can't catch me. You haven't been able to catch me even with your quirk. Hmm. We'll see. As they begin fighting, Yuzuku having no choice but to utilize his fighting style when it comes to people who can actually nullify his quirk. He's like, you should have never came alone. You should have at least brought All Might or someone who could back you up. Who said I came alone? What? 
as All Might smashes in onto the roof, looking down on Izuku. <laughs> so we finally have you. What? Oh, you bastard! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not an idiot to face you alone. For some reason, you are very smart when it comes to how I use my quirk. Like, my goggles, so no one can see my eyes. Huh, my hair and the cane that I'm using my quirk, which, I I will cut his hair. Just in case. <laughs> well, at least he's wearing a hat or something so no one can see that hair floating. Hmm. And I can see you actually put something uh, in between those goggles, huh? Yeah. Last time when you actually threw some dust or it was sand. Whatever. Sand in my eye. Yeah, that was kind of a wake up call. Hmm. In that case, you should be thanking me. Now trying to capture me. Despite us not being able to deny your efficient methods. You are murdering people. You are vigilante. With who is operating without a license. So everything you're doing, though justified, though it is heroic, is still illegal. So I'm guessing you're not going to let me go, are you? Sorry, Shell Walker. But this is where your journey ends. <sighs> Alright, come get this ass whooping. As all my just like... Really? Come on! <laughs> you serious? Yeah, I can take you on. I can take on everybody. Unless you're scared. Oh. Oh, oh, really? As, yes, Izuku, he is pretty much fucking with All Might's ego. Making him feel inferior as he is just starting to bob and weave around his punches. Not knowing that, yes, he's kicking up dust. He's kicking up all that dirt. He's starting to affect buildings surrounding him. Luckily, Izuku actually chose a place where, yeah, not many people. Because as soon as All Might tries to do a body slam or at least grab onto him, Izuku's gone. But, wait, what? Seeing that there's a hole right below him, he, yeah, he played you. That, that was very stupid. How, how could you fall for such an obvious trick? Uh, I... It wasn't that obvious to me. Of course not. Of course. You, you, uh, but, yeah, next time I'm bringing Midnight. She's a lot more confident than you are. Dude! Oh, man, you, you do not have to say it like that. <sighs> oh my. You let him outsmart you. That's a dangerous flaw you got. Well, I. Uh, well, I uh, um. Whew. As now we cut to Izuki, was. Oh, welcome back. What's happening? Uh, killed some bad people. Aizawa got in the way. Well, they were already dead, but, you know, it could be a pain in the ass. Huh. Yeah, he is uh, quite a troublesome one, isn't he? That quirk of his. Yes. No doubt about that. 
Yeah, if anything, it does make it more interesting. I can't deny. Someone who could pretty much keep me in one place, well, technically. <laughs> he even told me about the modifications he's made to his hero costume just to be able to take me on. <laughs> well, look at that. You're making heroes better. Yeah. Just so they can capture me. At the very least, at least I won't have to worry about seeing him too often. And which now is the first day of UA. And Izuku upon the... No! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Everyone just like, wait, what's wrong? Uh, nothing is... As though he wakes up finally. Uh, oh, hey. Wait. Oh, yeah, right. I, I'm a teacher. Kind of forgot that for a second. Like, wait, you're our teacher? Everyone's just looking at the... Who is he? It's like, uh, eraser head. Really? You know about me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've heard about you. Huh. I must say, not not many people really know about my work. But I'm, uh, I guess, happy that someone does. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's pretty much they go throughout the whole day and Izuku is trying his best not to raise any suspicions. While you can just get his uh, Zell where he's like, hmm. Okay. This kid knows about me. He seems... Why does he seem so familiar? Wait, no. As yes, he runs right out to Izuku. Izuku's thinking he's got. He, oh no, he's got my number. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're that boy from the whole uh, robbery Hazashi Midoriya case. Uh, what? Yeah, you're you're his son. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 that's me. Huh? Makes sense why you recognize me. Huh? Whoa! Huh. Hey, thank the heavens. Uh, uh, that was all word for nothing. He could just walking off, just minding his own business. He was like, uh, almost had a heart attack right then and there. Luckily, I saw I didn't pick up with any of his mannerisms that he's acquired over the years. Well, that was still too close for comfort. So he almost, you thought he figured you out. <laughs> now we'll see how this is funny. If people find out that I'm a vigilante, eh, I can get arrested. Yeah, but you could just use your cord to get out any situation that could be problematic. 
and since you only do your little hunts at night, no one really notices your, you know. Oh uh, yeah. I guess that is one of the upsides of having a quirk like mine. <sighs> Mess and bull. Well, I can only say you should get ready for school tomorrow, but you could just just stay here with me for the night. Nope, I'm not risking, risking you calling up to me right now. This this is another time. I had to be vigilant, untrusting. <sighs> I've taught you too well. <sighs>